Good morning, cadets. Welcome back to our Black Meat Wukong playthrough where I think I found the lesser Yagwai that I missed. It was actually, yeah, it does not say when you get a notification. You only get notifications saying like you got a lesser one. But there was a brief moment where I could pause and was able to see the two lesser Yagwai's entries that I missed. So, again, one being the enslaved Yaksha, but the other one looks like was the red hair Yaksha. And as the, how it looks, the picture, yeah, I think that's the one. So it's just a brief moment. That's where I saw the other red dot. So, okay, we're going to read this one. Then I'm going to read the previous entry. For the previous boss, actually the entry for the previous boss we just defeated in the in the previous episode, and then we'll continue. Again, I loaded the game and I have a freaking lantern guy active, so music is bumping. Right, let's start with the red haired Yaksha first. With sword in hand, the foe's chest pierced, blood soaked hair in battle fears, endless so sorrow for a fallen land. East wind sighs as west winds stand. In the kingdom, kingdom of Yaksha, there were eight great generals, one of whom was named Mian. He had once practiced under the Golden Summit Immortal at the Yuzan Temple, located at the foot of Mla Mount Lingshan. Having fought countless battle, battles, he possessed the valor of a warrior who could face 10,000 enemies. When a formidable enemy attacked, the Yaksha king appointed Mian as the vanguard general. Mian set up a large camp at the border and addressed his soldiers. If any of you fear battle, walk away now, and I won't hold it against you. But know that if you lose this foothold, the kingdom will fall. Our elders, children, and all our wealth will become the property of our enemies. With these words, he and the entire army swore a blood oath to advance and never retreat. The Yaksha army, isolated out and outnumbered, faced an enemy surrounding them on all sides, their banners blotting out the sky. Wave after wave of enemy forces attacked relentlessly. Mian and his troops fought fiercely, suffering heavy casualties. Ultimately, Mian was surrounded by numerous Arhats and was beheaded. Damn. The soldiers, countless among them having sacrificed their lives, retrieved their general's head. Placing Mian's head in his coffin, they witnessed his body slowly sit up and lament. If we lose our homeland, what difference does it make whatever, whether I have a head or not? With these words, he closed his eyes and fell back down, finally passing away as blood gushed from his neck, staining his hair red. Later, his subordinates, in a display of loyalty and bravery, poured the blood of their enemies over their heads, emulating Mian. Despite their valor, the kingdom of Yaksha was ultimately destroyed, but not a single soldier for Mian's army deserted. Oh? Not the end I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, at least, yeah, they fought bravely. Okay, but... There was a mention, eight generals, didn't I? Oh, or was it, wait, a captain was the previous boss. But again, uh, the term general could be used loosely, you know, not exactly. Yes, this is general, what's his name? And be just like a general for the army, but they have the rank of captain and whatnot. So I'm wondering if one of the eight we just fought in the previous episode. Yes, we'll see. Hey, the chiefs. This one, Captain Lotus Vision. Oh, this is a quick entry. All right. All things are by nature void. There is no wax or wane. For pride and arrogance, their golden form is shattered. From the rifts shines Buddha's light, majestic and boundless, with the glaring rays flashing, startling, breaking. You forget the teachings and fall into the falls. You are alone, isolated, crippled, dancing, prancing, like a deity or ghost, no less. 
Here the wise go mad, the brave turn bad, the kind face the rest. Tainted by worldly dust, your practice is in a mess. May your body enlighten the world and quell your proud and overbearing bulging light and darkness. Okay, so different entry, more like a poetry. Yeah, there's plenty of chiefs here, so again, I'm curious. So how many would be? Let's say this would be one of the generals for the army, but with the title of captain. You want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that could possibly be all the chiefs here. And then the kings. Yeah, the kings. We only have like four more. You know, I've got a, quite a couple of characters. So yeah. Also, I did have the points invested, and I decided to maximize the maximum mana stat. And then I don't know if I'm gonna kind of try maybe split my points into other things, staff stances and whatnot, because I don't have all these. Also, mysticism. I think. Uh, moderate amount of mana. That depends. Not sure if there's like a level cap. That's because this is a big talent tree. To be honest, a lot of points need to invest. So maybe the level cap is quite high. So I can uh, play around with points. But we shall see. Hey. Let's continue exploring on the other side. And I'm curious if it'll get me like a captain or like a chief for each level of the pagoda. It could be. Because the one that I fought was basically at first level. So this is where like on the second level up here. And if memory serves, should be this way. Yeah, we have the chest there. Oh, hi. I'm surprised you missed me. I literally <laughs> did not bother dodging. Alright, so let's see what we have on this side. Can I get up here? No, there's no point of interest. No! No! Right, that was... <laughs> Again, I forgot that it puts me on the... On that one, but... If I move on my own... And not let, let it guide me, and I fall down. Oh well. I was trying to... Staff spin and avoid the arrows. The thing is, I might... Yeah, alright. No! Really? Right, well, that happened. I have somebody dropping from up above. Wonderful. At least the lantern is out. Right. Let's see. Well, one way I can avoid that is go rock solid, to be honest. No! Come on! Oh, I did not die? Alright. That's interesting. I was expecting to die. Uh, right, but this. Oh, hi. Are you the. Huh. Are you the guy that's actually jumping on me? No, where is that? Did I drop? I got the chest here. I don't think I dropped all the way down, right? Yeah. 
Alright, you're stuck down there, whatever. Uh, yeah, I did not completely drop down. So that means it's this way to get up. Oh, god damn it. Uh, that means I should have one of these guys here. Okay, again, I kind of pressed the heal way before he started to do the second charge. That it can happen. Yeah, it's a bit weird that I don't drop down from this. If I let it guide me automatically, and then if I wanna, nah, no, great, the lantern is up. But then if I wanna do something else, like stop, spin, and all that, then it just throws me down. Okay, I have you. And then, just for the down, we should have one of those flying bastards. There you are. The thing is, can't exactly heal at the shrine, otherwise I'll have again one of those bastards dropping down. So I'll need to, yeah, I need to do this uh, with the amount of health that I have. Maybe I'll be lucky and get... get a couple more things to like absorb okay ow 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 before he hit me. Right, I'm gonna have to heal now. Because... Get more health this way. Okay, I'm down to one. I don't like this. You still hit me while I was... Bro, really? What's your freaking range on that? Is the lantern gonna be back again? What's going on? That was... <sighs> okay, let's see how much I can advance with just this. And I do have plenty of mana, so I might need to use my other skills. No! Come on! Really, game? Ah, for crying out loud. Well, at least you can say I, <laughs> I have all my stuff back, but... I'm gonna have... That bastard dropping by. I kinda forgot about you. Okay, you still hit me while I was uh, doing my animation. How? Ah. Ah, okay.
Well, at least you can say I'm back here with everything cool, but nah, damn it. I have the freaking lantern back up. Okay, I don't know the timing on this one. It annoys me. And the problem is. Uh, okay, I see you up there. You're the one that drops. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do like this. Because otherwise, I won't. I won't be able to advance. I'm gonna get stuck in that position. Let's see if I can. Okay, of course. This guy is an enemy. But let's see if I can uh, find another spot where. actually call my stamina why I was still in combo I don't know I'm gonna heal just to be sure I'm max health I don't have any surprises you're ah right that's why you're taking a long time because you're in a special spirit enemy but once I get you So, is me or is there something shiny in that nook and cranny beach? Not sure if I can get there. Ah, no. It just shows a bit of light. Can I heal again? This should actually fill up my board as well? I can't remember. Yep. Cool. Fungi man, all right. All right, boys. Is that guy active from up above? Right, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with him. Oh, we have another, another one of you. And you need to Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Well, he did not exactly die, actually. And actually, this should be the spot where the archer and that guy drops down. Right? Yeah. It's right there in the corner. He keeps shooting, I don't care. And I think the red hair Yaksha just completely dropped down of the map. Which I'm fine by it. Really? How much should I do keep in stagger? Hey, for real. That was a long time. Give me a stagger. Right. So there's our path up. What's further down? Uh, we should be getting the lantern. Oh, really? Yeah. I was about to say the lantern should be up soon. Again. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Are you for real, game? Oh my god, I dodged. I pressed to dodge all of that. What happened, game? Didn't give me any dodges. <sighs> oh, hi. Jesus, that actually scared me a bit. No! Come on, game. 
Oh, that was such a stupid freaking death. Come on. That okay, the lock on screwed me over and the dodge screwed me even more. Of course. It needs me need dodge. Ah for crying out loud. Right, I'm just gonna have to run through. There's no point on me getting these guys. I got all the spirits and whatnot. I'm just gonna dance like this. Of course you still hit me. Oh my god, really? That was a long stagger again. Ah, Peter Stick, really? Hit me right when you were dying as a spin. Ooh, right. Hopefully, I find something against the. The. Picking lanterns. So I don't get the uh, loss of them and whatnot. Got nothing in this cell. This is. Want to go up? Yep. Oh, nice. That clears up with the gourd. Oh, I can open this? Alright, first one I can open. Actually, wait, hold up. Oh, I'm curious. I just defeated the Lotus, that captain. Does that opens or can I open all the sigiled the gates that were that had the sigil? Ah, I did not check that off, off screen. I might do it. Right, yeah, I'm already four, but sure, I'll absorb this. I, yeah, I'll, I'll do that off screen because if I do it on screen, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to. Oh, somebody's there. I saw you. But yeah, if I do this on screen, it's gonna take me a long time to go back and forth. And if I'm gonna keep failing, you know, it's not gonna be fun. You know what? Block of many. Screw this shit. I'm not in the mood to. I know it might be a bit of a waste of mana, but. Bro! Uh. No, game, game. Can you heal me, please? Naff off. I nearly died because the game did not heal me when I wanted. Alright, and also there's a freaking lantern over there. Ah. What did I get? Oh, hi. Literally following me. I thought you might be stuck on the other side of the gate. Trying to think, what was behind those cells? I mean, there was somebody I could talk, and there was actually an item to interact. Ah. But other than that, not much. Couple of chests, 
maybe enemies. So maybe yeah, I'll do a recording, but only when I get that item or that interaction that was literally to the cell next to where I started. That might be a point of interest. A quest item. That quest and whatnot. Okay. This time I'm gonna have a shrine up here. Why am I not sprinting? to say you should be an enemy. Yep. And yeah, we have more here. Alright, so this is actually would be the right way. Are you kidding me game? Come on, okay. I really hate this section with all everything in my fiber. Like seriously, that was such BS. Ah screw it. Right, we're just gonna run through. I'm not gonna bother fighting anybody here. Yes. Yeah, that's it. I got everything on this level. Let's just... Let's just run. Because otherwise... It would take me ages to... No. Was it... I think I... Ah, feed the stick. I think I passed. Yeah. That's the location where to go up. And not here. I think it was where the lantern is. Die. Die. Speaking of freaking lanterns. Yeah, here they come. Right. It's here. God damn it. Ah, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass to edit. A lot of loading screens. See, we went. That's the right way. Because I see the path up. Really? What the fuck did you use? Oh, okay. I can do that as well. That's. You? Or. Was I not seeing your skills? I think. You know what? I know it's a bit of a waste for mana, but... Oh, are you for real? How did not hit him? Okay, now kind of makes sense why... I'm just screwing me over. Also, that's it? Just a chest? Okay. Okay, game. Oh, nice. I do have an absorb here. Perfect. Okay, 
Okay, can you come here? Stop. Game. No, I don't need to lock on. Again, you screwed me over. I need to be on this side. All right, buddy. Do all your skills. Oh, really? You really did hit me through the bars. Okay, I'll give you that. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Okay, he's inside here. Should be a bit more easier fight. that I have to use the immobilize I might need it later on okay, I'm gonna heal once I do have there oh game this unfortunately it's not gonna feel oh I actually did fill me up. Alright. Ah either stick, I don't like this one. Right, give me a shrine please. Light. Right, so that's a shrine over there. Then maybe more stuff around. First things first, let's get the shrine. At least I'm out of there. Well, which unfortunately I'm gonna have to go back in to see with the other cell doors if defeating the captain cleared out the the sigils and I can uh, open it. I can I create something damage no I need liquorys for the repelling one for the damage reduction I will get sure three more for the increased damage and then the rest I'm gonna hold on to it right so that looks to be the main way Ah, you're gonna be up again. Is this another loop around or this is gonna be like close dead end we a chest some secrets? Yeah, you're definitely anyone. You're giving me PTSD from the Wind Sage. You know what? It's done. I was still not down, really. Game? Okay. I need to heal. Oh, for crying out loud. Can you die already? Jesus. Alright, I need to spam. Dodge. Alright, so that was just for the lesser Yagwai. I see a chest on the other side. I can't make the jump, that's for sure. I'm assuming 
I go through the middle and then we go to the other side. But speaking of the middle, and that's definitely a boss fight. Right. I'm gonna keep the reading for maybe next episode or we'll see how long it's gonna take me to fight this boss. Maybe there's no boss. I'm gonna heal once again because I cleared the other side. I have no no interest to in going back there. Okay, that was weird. Oh, you're a big boy. Definitely. Alright. What am I fighting? Captain White boys. Alright. Not exactly Captain for level in the Pagoda. You look weird. Oh, we're off to a great start. I kind of like the clock one again. Yeah, I don't need the uh, stamina. Okay, now you get your stun. Because I need a stun. Oh, okay. It's like a weak point. Is this a lantern or is this your doing? Again, having the lantern effect and dropping my HP. I need a stamina and yeah. I don't know, again. Oh, right. I need this stuff as well. Ow. Of course you it's not that easy, right? Crap, I don't have any more healing available.
Come on. Like this light show. Did you over hit or Come on, really I did not touch that. Nap off. Okay, now it's that time you want up. Stun. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be another try. Oh well. Right. Let's uh, give it one more try. And then I'll probably. I don't know if I'll leave it here for this episode. Overall, the fight was not bad. And I kinda got to see a lot of the things you can do. Hit him in the big, big spot. Okay, the end game. You're not giving me the dodges that I want. Can I get the increase? Oh, I hate the responsiveness of this. Okay, that was a nice big damage I managed to do. Okay, give me the stamina. Block on screw me over here. And I think I could have hit the big spot. What the? Um. Ow. Was this something I could dodge? Or. What the hell was that? Or was it because of the. down I have to yeah. nice stamina be careful with it and 
I'm not sure if uh, that rock solid protected anything. Okay, sure. Let's do this again. We still have a bit of extra. Health. Come on. And one hit at least. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, second try. That's at least great. Awesome. Please tell me I won't have to deal with the lanterns that would be great if I have to oh when I'm gonna go to the explorer good fight okay and what did I get Alright, another key item, speed of Captain White's voice, and that, that is this way here, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's where I fought the other smaller Yagway. Right, but, I'm gonna go at the shrine. Hopefully I don't fall down. <laughs> and heal. I'm gonna leave it here for this episode. And yeah, I'm gonna check the pagoda again. To see... To see about the rest of the... Of the cells, if I can uh, interact with them. And if there's anything of interest... I'll probably start a recording to see if something happens in the first cell next to mine where we had a chat with that NPC over there and there was another thing I could interact to see if something interesting happens if not well I'm gonna be the start here and we're gonna start again with should be a reading right I do have yeah I have a king and I think one or two lesser Yagwais. So that's gonna be for next time. But for now, hopefully enjoy this episode guys. And as always, don't forget to take care. <laughs>